Petchista said, how do you get Conan to come down when he gets too hyper? You know, you just have to hold him and pat his back. <laughs> if Sona fixes your life. At Darren's Demise says, do you steal baby stuff from stores? Have I stolen anything? N no. No, I don't steal any. I don't, I don't steal anymore. I can say that confidently. Last time I stole something was, it was a while ago. It was a long time ago. What am I doing? I, no, I stopped stealing. Guys, I, and I'm not gonna steal something from my babies. I mean, there was, I think, hold on. I ordered something and they sent me seven of them. They were squirt toys for the, for the bath. And they sent me like seven of them. And my husband, who has much better conscience than I do, he's like, you should tell the store they sent you too many. And I was like, yeah, 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 I totally will. And then I just didn't. I'm going to keep them all. I guess that's like stealing. I would say that's probably the last thing I stole. Do I say you're welcome for this question? Do you steal baby stuff from stores? You shouldn't. But if they send you extra stuff, like what are, what are you gonna do? Not keep it? Come on, you're welcome. At Large Ego Loose says, what is the best way that you found so far that works to stop the kid from crying? Good God, this thing. You just put him in there, turn it on and then walk away. <laughs> uh, no, but honestly, my favorite thing in this house is that inflatable ball that you sit on and just bounce with the kid they'll stop crying. It's the best. Any type of movement, putting them in a stroller, the rocking chair, you know, going somewhere in the car. Oh, I just want to, I just want them to keep moving and then they're quiet or stick a bottle in their mouth. Is it, can you overfeed them? Yeah, obviously you can, but keeps them from crying. You're welcome. At AA lock 05 says how to hide the dark realities of this world, imminent lurking eventuality of death from them. Wow, uh, what, wow. Maybe Mr. Rogers has an episode that talks about the dark realities of the world and the imminent lurking eventuality of death, and then you don't have to do it. Mr. Rogers can do it, because he always figured out a best way to do it. You know, on PBS Kids, on the PBS Kids app, they have like seven episodes or something of like, of old Mr. Rogers episodes. And there's one, where he talks about the cello and he uh, has Yo-Yo Ma on and they do an interview and it there's this moment at the end where Mr. Rogers looks at the camera and he just goes, let's think about, you know, what, what Yo-Yo Ma said about like feeling and playing the instrument. And then he's silent for like two minutes. And I'm not even joking, I wept. I wept when that part happened. Cause like who's silent on TV anymore? He can do it. So when you want to talk about, you know, the dark realities of the world and the imminent lurking eventuality of death, and you want to talk about that with children, then, you know, see if Mr. Rogers has an episode of it and let him do it. You're welcome. At Pachista said, how do you get Conan to come down when he gets too hyper? You know, you just have to hold him and pat his back. <laughs> You have to shush him and you have to give him his favorite toy. And that's how you do it. You're welcome. Next time one of you babysits Conan O'Brien, you know how to calm him down when he gets too hyper. <laughs> this is fun. I miss doing this. You're welcome.